I'm just going to go back to the history books and look at Leeds United's results after 18 managers, their worst results, and who was in charge. Because right now, Marcelo Bielsa sits second. Now, we don't know what's going to happen at the end of the season, but looking at this, uh, Dick Gray got relegated. Kevin Blackwell, Dennis Wise, relegated. Peter Reid and Eddie Gray, relegated. It doesn't make for good reading. It doesn't make for good reading, but um, we've got to understand there's, there's some teams poorer than Leeds United in the league at the moment. I watched Watford recently, they were struggling. You we've firmly seen believe that our three teams yeah, worse? No, yeah, for sure, because we've seen at times when they've got the squad together, I feel a couple of additions in January, these games are coming tough. I think there's, there's still some difficult performances to come, but I feel like when they, they, they get in the rhythm, get in the style, the energy, the way they play with the manager, and I just heard that, that backing, because it, because we, as we talked about, it would be Elsa, would he come and do a little bit of criticism? I think he will. He will from the media that he hasn't changed those tactics when you concede the amount of goals that you do in three games. So there's going to be a bit of criticism, but you heard the support, the backing that he had. And I think at that point, normally at a football club, when you concede what you do, you're under big pressure straight away. The players understand it, but that ending, it just keeps giving you the lift and hopefully that can continue. Normally you're getting booed off after a 4-1 defeat. Mm. Well, I did anyway. I got B4 in the league and I got, to be fair, I got clapped off by the Leeds fans or booed off by the Middlesbrough fans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that happens. But I'm totally in agreement with Brownie. I think that the fans, and I think once they get Calvin Phillips back, Patrick Bamford, Cooper back, and it's a different ball game altogether. There'll be a, this team won't go down, not a chance. No way Leeds will go down this season. What's it Bielsa like behind closed doors? I, the only thing I have to go on, I've interviewed him a few times via, via one of those digital platforms, never in person, but he's always looking down. I mean, is he like that all the time when you're managing against him? Well, when I was a, when I was a coach at first, he came into the room after the game and he handed me this big book of all the research that had done on Middlesbrough that season. I've still got that book now. When I was a manager, he offered me advice to stay what I believed in. Little bits of advice and then he, and he, and he left the room. So that's all you need from, from a manager. You don't need a lot of conversation with them all this to give you little tips of what you can do but I've still got the book that he gave me on everything Middlesbrough did that season that was very interesting Do you find it strange though when, when he looks down in those interviews and he's got a translator next mm. to him at some point now I, I still think he speaks uh, better English than he probably makes out or like, he understands it Like Pochettino it. when yeah, he was at instance, Southampton yeah, He understands it doesn't he he might not want to talk too much but I, I would want to see him look up a little bit and address the room slightly I know he's always done that but I feel like when the, the bit of the pressure's on I think if he gets over criticised, he probably will come out with some huge document, some huge statement mm. like he has done before. I think that's just the way he is. I think that's just the way. We're not all wired up the same. We all don't do natural behaviours at times. I think that, that's the way Marcelo is, isn't it? Like we said earlier, he ain't changing just because they've, they've lost a few games and whatever. He ain't going to change the way he is. Or he's definitely not going to come now and start speaking English. Criticised or not criticised? I think for they it. were singing, weren't they? That the fans, Marcelo Bielsa, yeah. when they started to see a reaction that the team were coming back into the game to get behind and understand that. I think that was sort of saying, "We're with you. We understand what you're trying to do. Yes, we're losing, but we can see some improvement in that second half." But um, it becomes personnel as well. It's yeah. The personnel, the recruitment, and I know behind the scenes they'll be heavily looking at that straight away. But it's a strange one that the club and the the, the, the director of football can find actually targets. But the manager doesn't always want to do that, and if he feels like it's not the right position, he won't do it.